Hello guys and welcome back to this week's PHA Pro Tip. My name is Jose Vega and in this episode we're going to be talking about how to create your own brushes and I'm going to give you a quick little tip on how to use them. Let's check it out. All right guys, so now that we are here in Photoshop, um, I have a very, uh, just a white canvas here. And the first thing that I wanted to do when you want to create a brush or a custom um, shape or something like that, you want to create the actual shape of whatever that is that you're, that you're going to make create custom, right? So in this case, we're going to get a sort of like a grass um, shape for the brush that we're going to be using. And I'm just going to quickly do some shapes here. And right now it doesn't matter what the color is because we're going to change it later. Um, we're just going to do some grass shapes here. And again, this is the fun part where you can just sort of um, play with the, uh, with the shapes and just try to create something um, maybe a little bit more unique or something like that. But this is a time where you want to you wanna spend um, sort of like playing with it. And you can do as many of these as you want. And so we're going to uh, create something like so, right? And maybe we can edit this a little bit. And I, again, this is not going to be the perfect grass because what I want to show you is just the um, process of it. And maybe we can do some sort of like, maybe something like so. Like that. And now we're going to change this to uh, black. Change this to black. And this is going to be our shape. You can always go back to this and maybe tweak it a little bit. Maybe delete some of these, clean it up a little bit. Maybe something like that. And so now, once you have the shape that you're happy with, um, you are going to select the uh, whatever is in this uh, black here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click my layer, and that's going to select everything in that layer. And notice already that I have some whites in here. So I actually want to get rid of that. And so we're just going to select here, select similar. That's going to select everything that is similar to that color, I'm just going to delete. And so now I should get that. And now I can control click my layer. That's going to select every pixel on my layer. And I'm going to go to edit and define brush preset. Now it really doesn't matter what you call this right now because we're going to delete it, but I will just call it grass. And I'm going to turn that layer off. I'm just going to create a new layer. I'm actually going to go over here, it's this little thing, and we're going to test our new brush. And so I'm going to pull in my uh, brush palette, and you're going to see down here that we have our new brush. And if I select the color and I start painting here, just make this a little bit more simple here. Oops. So if I select my brush, and let's do a sort of like a greenish color. I try to paint, uh, you know, I get this and it's not really great, right? So what you want to do is bring your brush settings. And now you can play with all these and do the, um, all the parameters on this brush to behave as you want to. And once you have that now, that's what's, um, what you're going to save as your brush, right? So we already did the first step, which is your shape. And now we're going to edit how the brush behaves to create our final brush, right? So let's delete this. And let's go to here. Maybe I can squish this a little bit. Let's bring the spacing a little bit more. And so I'm going to play with this. And this is also sort of like an experimental face of it, um, where you can play. And once you do something, you can sort of test it out. Maybe let's bring a little bit of angle rotation here some scattering, not that much. Let's see how that behaves. It's not bad. 
and uh, maybe we can bring um, see some transfer here, some opacity jitter. Now we're getting something a little bit closer here, where maybe we can um, we can use for for our little scene, right? And you know, one one tip about custom brushes when they are very specific like this, where it's grass or stuff like that, you don't really want to treat it like a normal brush where you just do strokes. You know, you want to sort of sometimes like stamp it in areas to break up the different shapes and all that sort of thing. Um, and I'll show you that in a little bit, but um, just to give you a, something, um, it's a quick little tip. Um, so once you have all the parameters set up, um, let's say we're happy with this and we're going to go now to our brush here and we're going to go new brush presets. And now this is the one that we are going to um, use as our grass custom brush, right? So let's say I want to use this here and I'm going to sample some colors here and I'm going to try this out. You can see that we can get some sort of effect, right? Um, now, of course, this is not the only brush that, um, that you want to use just for grass. You know, you want to layer your your grass at different shapes at different forms and colors and all this stuff but you know um, you can see how very easy you can create a grass shape and you know it didn't take more than five minutes uh, but you can create you know five ten fifteen and once you start layering all those different shapes and and um, and brushes then you start to get something a little bit more uh, believable um, but that's sort of how you can create a simple brush um, and you can apply this to anything. It doesn't have to be grass or anything like that. Uh, you can do buildings, characters, animals, anything, whatever you want. And so a little trick is that if you get your grass, you see how here they sort of have the same color throughout. Uh, one thing you can do is if you grab your, um, your mixer brush, you can find it here on the same area where you find the brush, the mixer brush. And I'm gonna pick that uh, brush that we made. And what you see here is that I made a sort of like a gradient just to have some color variation. And you can make this whatever you want depending on your scene. But what you can do is I'm gonna put my brush in here and I'm gonna sample that with my um, mixer brush. And now if I create a new layer, now you're gonna see that I get some sort of like um, variation in the color depending on the um, gradient that I have here, right? So I think this is a really neat trick to um, bring some sort of like color variation into your into your uh, brush strokes and, and your grass and your foliage and all that sort of thing, right? So um, let me check here. I, mean, I got some of that darker color, so I want to make that brush smaller. But you can see here how you can get that sort of variation of color in your in your brush, right? So I hope you guys learned something new and um, hope you enjoy it. Thank you.